So next to welcome here in the talk show is Johanna Neumann. She is the president of the European Youth Forum, a platform for a lot of youth organizations. And even though she's only 26 years old, she has a huge experience in dealing with youth issues and the organizational, organizational framework of it. So let's see what she's doing here at the European Youth Event. So, Johanna, welcome. Thank you very much. Has it been some busy days? A Absolutely busy day. crazy, but I love it. Okay. I love every moment of it. That's really good. So, you are president of the European Youth Forum. Can you tell me shortly about what you do there? So the European Youth Forum, we are a platform of 100 youth organizations coming from all over Europe, different political backgrounds, different kind of organizations. And we try to gather the opinions of the young generation and then advocate that, advocate for youth rights towards the EU, the Council of Europe and the UN. One of the things you're going to do is to be monitoring a, a debate on refugees and the refugee crisis here at the European Youth Events. So, and it's also something you you care a lot about. You 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 care a lot about in the European Youth Forum. Absolutely, uh, a lot of our members are very active, and also in the board we had a number of discussions. And and for us, what is really important is to recognize that, of course, yeah, a refugee crisis, but mm. that these are human beings that can no longer live in their home country, and that they are knocking on the doors to Europe. And we strongly believe that. With our European values, we should let in more of them and respect their human rights. And how would you think that is possible in, in reality to, uh, to humanize uh, the situation, if you can say so? I think first we have to fight back on all, all these kind of very negative rhetorics around migration, uh, around these refugees, and see that they are human beings and see to their needs and to their rights. But secondly, also, we have to prepare our societies to open up, to make sure that once people arrive in our countries, also mm. there would be proper integration, that there would be jobs. Today in Europe, I think it's very important that we realize that we have a lot of resources that we can share with more people. And I know one of your, the things you really also uh, are focused about is, is unpaid internships. Yeah. Why? Is, uh, is that a problem becoming bigger? or? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, right now around half of all Europe's young people have done internships and only around one fourth of these have been remunerated or paid in some way. Uh, personally, I had uh, the good luck of doing my internship connected to my university, mm. so we got a smaller remuneration for the work we were doing. Mm. But it's really becoming a problem where more and more young people, they don't only do one, but a number of unpaid internships basically being used as, as free labor and really devaluating the value of labor as well and, and we are fighting for youth rights, fighting for quality jobs and for paid internships, internships that have real learning content as well. Yeah, so now we have been touching about two of the big uh, big themes of your work, So, but if you were a member of the European Parliament, what would be the three core issues you would present? Hmm. Um, I think one is really quality jobs. We have to make sure to your, that in Europe today we have quality jobs for all, not only any job, but mm. a job that you are properly paid and you have some kind of security. The second is really about participation, because today we see more and more, especially young people, not participating in the political debate. So to make sure that politics is close to the people, down to earth, talking about real stuff, not abstract things up there in the air. Mm. And I would say the third thing is really, it's a question of sustainability. Um, I'm a biologist in, to my education and, and I think it's very important that we realize climate change is not something just out there. It's something happening right now and we have to make sure that our societies are sustainable, not only environmentally, but also economically and, and socially. I also heard that uh, it's not only in, the, in those political issues that you're active, you also have been active as a scout. Yes, I, yes. I, I have and I am, yeah. You, okay, so you still are active. Yeah. In, in which way? Well, right now a lot in the international sphere, but I also try when I go home in the summers, try to be active with my local scout group and, and kind of... My sister, she's, she's 15 and she joined the scouts a couple of years ago, so also to, to connect with her through that. Okay, I have a little thing for you here. Okay. Because I have never been a scout. Okay. And I'm, you know, making nuts and nuts and so on it's not really my big thing other when i do it on my shoes yeah my shoe lashes so do can you teach me if you know 
it's just what you always hear about when you're a scout, you are good at making knots. Absolutely. I'll teach you the friendship knot, uh, which is the one that most of the scouts have on their scarves, scarves as well. Okay, the friendship. So it's, it's a very beautiful one. Yeah. Um, and so. it, it goes very good to your nail polish. And yeah, you it. <laughs> yeah, it's all planned. Yeah, <laughs> all planned this. <laughs> so this is the way you put through the... Um, okay, you make one of these. Yeah. Uh, so up. Up, through and over. And then you take this one and you connect it through. And it becomes this beautiful square thing called the knot of friendship. And is that very, um, that's very strong? It is very strong. Strong like friendship? Yes it, yes, it keeps forever. Okay. Oh, I don't know if it can see here. Not a friendship. Okay. That I think I have to practice a little bit on if I should be able, <laughs> able to do it. Is there other things now when, um, now when we hear in the European Parliament, it seems like everyone is lost all the time. Yeah. But I can imagine that maybe being a scout, you have an advantage of finding your yeah, way around? I would say orienteering is not my strong side for sure, but I think being in the scouts and starting very young, one of the biggest things I, I've been learning is, well, to function together in a group and, and to lead a group. And that is for sure, well, the most valuable thing I've been learning from the scout movement. Okay, so that has, has it been kind of an inspiration on your third further work? Absolutely, and, and I mean, I, I was nominated also to this position because I am a scout through the Finnish National Youth Council and scouting has always been a very important part of my life. Thank you so much, Johanna, for being with us in the talk show today and good luck with the, with the rest of the day today and the day tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you.